If there's anything that I've ever been taught in my media studies, it's that audiences are very, very fickle. Audiences can tell you that they want to do something or they want something in a particular piece of media, but they're not going to be able to actually enjoy it once you put it out. It's one of the problems of being a content creator. Sometimes people are going to say, oh, I want a video on Liyue, and my Liyue video is one of the ones that don't work out as intended. And the thing is, that's just a reality that we're going to need to push out through. And in the context of Genshin Impact, I have several criticisms in the game's current state and several criticisms on how we're dealing it with as a community. So the first thing that I want to preface this video with is that 2.7 should not be rushed. I know that a lot of people are suffering some content drought and Genshin has always been under fire for the lack of content in terms of replayability, in terms of every day not feeling like it's a chore because you only go through the same routine and you get like what actual two to three days of fulfilling content when there's not really a reason for you to log in every day because every week is just one to two wishes per week, per real life week. And the thing is, I know that we're in a current state like that, but please, please be sensitive with the current situation that it's happening in Shanghai. There is no confirmation, by the way, that the current delay is because of that, but whether we like it or not, there is a delay and we do need to be careful with what's happening and what we say online because there are people that are actually deeply, deeply affected by this and it's clear that MiHoYo's employees, or at least the people that are working on Genshin Impact to a really big extent, are also affected by the current situation that's happening in Shanghai. But despite that, I do want to point out some really really big problems that have surfaced on Genshin Impact structure as a game in general, and I want to begin that by saying it is perfectly fine if you want to quit Genshin Impact. A lot of people have been saying that you shouldn't complain about the Primo Gems or you shouldn't complain about the lack of content because of the Shanghai situation when in reality people have already been criticizing Genshin State as a game from the very beginning and it's just that we're seeing now what happens when Genshin Impact doesn't have any updates. The problem with Genshin structure as a game is that it's a game that relies heavily on constant pumping out of material. Think of it like this, it's very much like a content creator. It's someone that needs to keep their relevancy constantly because it's not a finished product. We as content creators constantly need to pump out videos because we don't want to shrivel up and die because we're not a finished product. Unlike other games like Mario Bros or Persona or Final Fantasy, Genshin Impact is not a final game and Genshin Impact is not a finished game either. This also goes well with Honkai for The problem is that when those updates start slowing down, whether it's for production reasons or because there's a delay or because of other reasons that you don't know as a consumer, you're going to start feeling the weight of Genshin's game structure that it's very much empty. And before someone tells me that, oh, you're just not consuming all the forms of media, you should never guilt an audience member into enjoying a piece of content. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talk about this and they're like, Genshin Impact has a lot of content. Just because there's a lot doesn't mean that you should force yourself to enjoy them. Content is very subjective. Good content is very subjective, but people are going to have very different opinions. The problem is that the current form of Genshin is not sustainable to a majority of the audience. That's why a lot of people are feeling burnout. That's why a lot of people are saying that they don't want to do this. But the thing is, you should never force yourself to play a game that you don't like. You should never force yourself to play Genshin Impact. So for me personally, I've stopped playing Genshin Impact religiously ever since 1.6. The reason that I'm here right now is because of the lore, but I don't actually play the game consistently. And I think a lot of people have also defended the game because it's a resin-based system and they have lives, according to them. They have jobs, they have other priorities, they have other games, and that's why they appreciate Genshin Impact structure. And that's perfectly valid. Honestly, that's really, really valid. And honestly, I really wish there would be more games like that. But the problem is you can't also ignore the other spectrum of people that actually want to play Genshin Impact. Those fans are also valid in terms of their opinion because they want to play Genshin. They want to immerse themselves into four to five hours of the game and Genshin is just not providing them. So you should never fault them into leaving or you shouldn't fault them for staying in the first place. Yes, they do have a very different playstyle, but you have to remember that Genshin Impact's main appeal was the escapism. Escapism is really difficult to achieve when you're going to have real life blocks in between. For example, if you have an Archon quest, you're going to want to immerse yourself and the Archon quest, not just have like a sudden cliffhanger and then you're going to need to wait in real life days to finish that. 
So what's my point here? The point is that if you enjoy playing Genshin Impact or you don't enjoy playing Genshin Impact, that is perfectly fine. You shouldn't let some person on Twitter or even some person on YouTube dictate what you want and what you don't want. Yes, I do agree that the current state of the game is currently lacking. I'm someone that actually just doesn't really care about Genshin Impact's gameplay. I'm only waiting for the story at this point, which is why I don't even play Genshin that much. Honestly, the game could be better. But the thing is, if you don't like playing the game, it is perfectly valid for you to just leave. It's perfectly fine if you just put it on the back burner. And it's perfectly fine if you just, like, you know, choose another game. I've seen a lot of content creators talk about their burnout and play other games. Genshin is not meant to be... Genshin is not meant to be a constant wheel. And with the current state of affairs, I can definitely tell you that the interest is going to wane. Audiences leave when there's no content. Whether you like it or not, when there's no new update, when there's no new announcement, when there's nothing to look forward to, audiences leave. Audiences are fickle. Why do you think the trending pages on Twitter are always, always changing? But that doesn't mean the game's going to die. People are just going to leave, but people that are loyal to the game are going to keep it alive. So, no, Genshin Impact is not dying. But no, you're not wrong that there is nothing new that's happening right now. And no, you're not wrong about having your own distaste of the game. And no, you're not at fault for liking the game even if it's at its current state. I think that we should just accept that as a community, we are different and that we have different opinions. I think that a lot of people are talking about the burnout or the Genshin lack of content, but some people are praising that because they're just here for the casual stuff and they're just here to open it for 30 minutes a day and they just do it, you know, the chill way where they just do commissions and stuff like that. That is perfectly fine. And I think that the moment that we achieve that kind of balance in our community where we stop crucifying each other is when we realize the fact that nothing really matters and we're all just going to end up pulling for the next hot lady or hot guy. Okay? My name is Aster and thank you for chilling with me. I hope that whatever you're doing right now in your life, whether playing Genshin or not, is fruitful. And I really hope that you continue playing Genshin Impact or you don't continue playing Genshin Impact. No one is going to fault you for enjoying or not enjoying something, except Twitter. And hopefully that stops, please. But thank you all so much. And please do send your regards to the people that are currently affected by whatever is happening in Shanghai. I really, really hope that nothing big is happening. I also am praying that it's not caused by what's happening over there. Honestly, I really, really am hoping that maybe it was just a coincidence, but I know that it isn't. So yes, please remember not to belittle the situation because it is not fair for anyone. Yes, I know that I have a Paimon video due, but I haven't really started with the script and things just got a little hectic. But here you go, my thoughts on the current state of Genshin Impact.